What's going on guys? I have a video here, it's a dual commentary I did with a, another Madden director, his name is Koopa, or his YouTube channel is 318 Super, it's in the annotation in the description if you want to check it out, but we had a dual com here, he's the guy I've been playing Madden with, and I talked to through YouTube. And this video was recorded about a week and a half ago, so I'm talking about the Vikings being 2-9, and, and obviously they're 2-11 now. And it ended up being a really long commentary, so I chopped it up and I made it into a 10 minute video. And I hope you guys enjoy this dual commentary, and if you guys like it, I'll bring you guys more. <laughs> <laughs> we got a game here, me and Koopa sat down, we wanted to have some gameplay for this commentary here, and you'll see how it goes for me. I, mean, I don't play much Madden Online anymore, I'm more into the franchise, you know, just keep it straight, sim style. And then uh, going to play Madden, you know, your game's always going to be different a little bit, and... I don't know why I picked the Cowboys. I mean, I never have any luck with this team at all. And I don't know why you the picked Ravens. the Meadows. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was it was it, it was tough, man. Like uh, he was uh, he was he was trying to run the ball uh, a lot on me on this game, and uh, it was it, it was just tough with the Cowboys. If I I, I think if he he would have chose like the what what's your team, the Vikings? The Vikings. But I don't know yeah. how much better that would have been. Well, I mean, you would have had Adrian. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You would have had Adrian, and, and, and Adrian breaks tackles by itself. I mean, uh, DeMarco, Mary, and uh, Felix, they was they were just too easy. Like, basically, once they got past the first level, uh, my defensive line, I mean, my linebackers, Ray Lewis and Terrell, we were just cleaning, cleaning them up at that point. You know, Jerry Johnson. So, uh, I think if you would have chose Adrian, you probably would have had, like, a, a more stable running game. And that seemed like that, that was your focus coming into the game was to run the ball on me. You can get beat deep with, with, with the cornerback stuff, so I just had to switch it up. That's why I went to the Ravens because Ray Rice, I call him mini Adrian Peterson, you know what I'm saying, the gingerbread man. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, well, hold on, mini gingerbread man because Adrian is the gingerbread man. And so uh, we're going to go into a little bit more detail or a little bit other topics in this commentary. We want to talk about some real football as uh, we're drawn to the close of the season here, some teams obviously out of playoff contention. One of those teams may be my Minnesota Vikings. Not going to confirm that. We are 2-9. and nine. But you look at the Vikings, you know our defense is very bad too. But we got Kevin Williams, Jared Allen, Antoine Winfield out for the year. EJ Henderson, Chad Greenway. But, yeah. you know, the way, our scheme is not evolving with the way the NFL is. It's a pass-happy league. Every offensive coordinator that... Uh, is worth like keeping his job, knows how to beat a cover two shell. I mean, if you're going to give teams everything underneath, quarterback like Aaron Rodgers, they're going to take that. It's like playing catch with their kid in the backyard. I mean, yeah. it's too oh, yeah. easy. I mean, the bend and don't break, the bend but don't break defense, I can't stand it. And maybe it's because we suck at it, but I don't think it's really <laughs> that bad because these are still professional football players. Got to remember yeah. that. But I just cannot stand the scheme at all, especially when you don't mix it up because – automatically, why would you put yourself at a disadvantage before the play even starts? I mean, if you run in zone and you're not changing it up, they already know where the holes are in your defense. You haven't even snapped the ball yet, and you're at a disadvantage. Exactly. But let's talk about some teams that are winning. Now, um, Green Bay Packers obviously undefeated. Who do you think has the best team or has the best opportunity to take them down and why? The Ravens. <laughs> 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 All right, well, we'll see him in the Super Bowl. <laughs> you talking about, like, left on their schedule? Uh, schedule, I'm looking at mainly NFC, because if you're going to talk AFC, I don't know the remaining schedule, but uh, you do talk about a good F NFC team, you, they'll meet them in the playoffs. And I'm thinking okay. it's the – well, personally, I think it's the Saints. Yeah, I was I was about to say that, too. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm from Louisiana. I mean, for everybody that don't know, you know what I'm saying, Louisiana kid, I, you know, that's me. Uh, that ain't my name, you know, but, you know, I'm from Louisiana. But, uh, yeah, most definitely, man, the Saints – as far as a team that can score with, with green, because you're going to have to outscore. I don't give a damn what type of defense you got on the field. Aiden Rodgers, Greg Jennings, you know, Driver, Jamichael, you know, all, all those guys, Grant, they're, they're going to get, they're going to get what, what, what they can get, you know saying from what you give them and they're going to score. So you have to score with them. That's just, that's plain and simple. You know, your defense is not going to hold up. I don't give a damn what type of defense you got on the field. So the Saints, you know, having all the weapons they have, Breeze, Devery, Meacham, Colston, you know, they have a plethora of, of skill guys that can match up very well against, you know, Green Bay and, and give them a run for I mean, they did it the first game of the of the of the, of the season. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they almost beat them then. 
they've come a long way since then, but I think yeah. still the Saints are one of the best teams in the NFC in the entire league. And exactly. they're one of my favorite teams to watch play because they execute everything so well. But uh, Sean Payton, he knows what he's doing on offense with Drew Brees. You like the mad scientist over there, you know, the the stuff that they the, the, the Saints use because they have the personnel to pretty much use any play they can think of against you. And, you know, you give up he's Reggie like Bush. Reggie Bush was, for Darren Sproles. Darren Sproles, I'll take him any day. Ex- exactly. You know, and it seemed like he he's, you know, he's a veteran now. He understands the game better. I'm just happy he's on the Saints, you know, because that is, I'm, you know, that's I'm from Louisiana, so that's that's the hometown. I, I got a couple teams I like, you know, Saints, you know, Ravens, Minnesota. You know, I just wish Minnesota was, oh, I wish they was better this year because that's really my team team that has been, it's been my team for a long, long time. And it, it hurts my heart, man, just to see them struggle. So Yeah, like right now we are slotted for the, the number three pick if the season were to end today. But obviously uh, Carolina, they're close to us, and they're kind of targeting what we're looking at as well. But if you look at the guys I want us to pick up in the draft, first round I'm looking at uh, Justin Blackman, Matt oh, yeah. Khalil. But – you know, a guy like Justin Blackman could totally turn around this entire offense and yeah. make Adrian even better. I mean, that's been the whole philosophy. Get someone who can stretch the field and open it up underneath for Adrian. But it, it's not like Adrian needs the field to be opened up for him because he's showing what he can do with an eight-man box in front of him. Exactly. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I mean, because, I mean, as long as Christian Ponder, you know, holds up the way everybody thinks he's going to hold up, Get him, a, get him some more skilled people. You know, you got, you got Percy. Get him, get him some more, some, ex, some more ex, explosion. You know, just like you said, Justin Blackman from uh, OSU. I mean, the guy is an animal. He catches everything. You know, and he's a burner. He can get down the field. He can take the top off the off the defense. You know, and, and get you. You know, what I'm saying some big plays. So, so yeah, most definitely. Uh, and uh, the other guy that you said, Morris Claiborne. You know, you know, I got to rep LSU. You know, yeah, I, you know, I, <laughs> I know I, all it is. But uh, yeah, but uh, <laughs> you know, uh, LSU. You know, Morris Claiborne. He is a freak of an athlete. Uh, he went to, uh, you know, saying school where I'm from in Shreveport, Louisiana. So, wh- whoever. Whoever like Minnesota decides to pick up is going to be an improvement from what they have right now because they really need an influx of youth and talent. You mean they you really at, do? You want to look at a blueprint for success? You look at the Green Bay Packers. As much as oh, it yeah. hurts me, I lived in Wisconsin for like 13 years, so I I watched that team develop into what they are right now. They have five wide receivers: Donald Driver. Greg Jennings, Jordy Nelson, Randall Cobb, and James Jones. That would all be the number one or two receiver on the Vikings right now. Jordy, he can be on the outside. I mean, they use him in the slot, but he can actually play the outside and really, you know, uh, hold his own. A big-time receiver. I mean, in, in my eyes, and yes, he could be a number one somewhere else or a number two. I mean, definitely a number two, but he can, he can be a number one for anybody – that uh that doubts him. I mean, Green Bay just has. I mean, they even have what's what's that dude? Randall uh not Randall is it Randall Cobb? Is it yeah, Cobb? yeah 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 Randall Cobb. I mean, it just I mean, and then they got it just seems like it's unfair sometimes. They got Jamichael Finn. God, I don't even want to talk. You about look it. at all this these players make on this mad. team. You're like, how are they underneath the salary cap? It's because they drafted those guys. See, when you pick up free agents, you're picking up guys that have a lot higher contracts than guys that are still playing on the rookie contract first four years, but. You know, the thing I also look at, you know, I don't know how much to look into this, but you see all these players, but when they're all asking for big contracts or if they're going to be just wanting to stay in Green Bay, because I know they've re-signed, like, uh, Jordy Nelson, and I don't know if they re-signed Jermichael Finley. I can't remember, because this was all a little while ago. But, (laughs) yeah, like, they have uh, Ryan Grant, James Starks at running back, solid group, and then they have five tight ends. It's, It's unfair, man. They just got talent on top of talent on top of talent. And it's just like whoever. I mean, look, look at Tremont, uh, Tremont Williams. I mean, it's, he's ba- he's basically going to be Charles Wilson replacement once he decides to hang it up. You know, he's from uh, Louisiana Tech too, by the way. So I just want you guys to know that. All right, but he's playing out his mind, and it, it just seems like it's unfair, man. Then they got the best quarterback stats wise and in the league right now. You he hasn't know, I, had a I know bad game all year. Tom Brady still is the best quarterback, but Aiden Rodgers is right right up there with him. All right, guys, man, it seems like we're getting to the end of it. Uh, I just want to thank Hurricane for letting me uh, do this dual com on his channel. 
uh, much respect, man. I, I appreciate it so, so, so much. And like I said, like uh, any guys that, you know, like what they heard today, go check my channel out. It should be in the description. And and keep keep on watching Hurricane stuff. Man, he, he does fantastic content. I watch it all the time. Uh, so, yeah, just, just stay tuned to Hurricane channel and go check me out. And, again, thank you so much, Hurricane, for letting me do the dual con with you, man. Appreciate it. Hey, man, no problem. Anytime. I'm looking to do some more dual comms here. I haven't done many in the past. But I am looking to do some more, and I'll be definitely looking to do another one with you, Koopa, especially if this gets a great response. And, but, um, you know, thanks for coming along, Koopa. Do the dual com, talk some football. It's always fun to do that. So if you guys enjoy the dual com, check out Koopa's channel. And I'll see you guys later. Whenever it is, I post up Minnesota Vikings franchise, Road to Glory, dual commentary, whatever it is. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see you guys later.